you won't have the faith in the last days to be loyal to God, to be faithful, to claim those promises if you've been living a life of disobedience. It's impossible. Jacob's obedience to God is what strengthened him at that time when he needed God the most. This is why many people's faith will turn to base metal at that time because they never made a habit of trusting in God through difficult times. I think a lot of people have this conception that when things get really serious, then I'll make a commitment. Yeah. And this is what the five virgins had. You know, when the time comes, oh, I'll, I'll figure out a way. We'll, we'll have oil. It'll be all right. But it doesn't work like that. No. Those who had the extra oil with them, they had the character, developed the character in order to go through those tarrying times, to go through that darkest hour of Earth's history and be awake and ready for the Lord's return. Whereas the others, their light had gone out and they could not go and purchase more oil because you cannot transfer character. It's something that had to be developed. You had to have it with you. But then you have that beautiful promise in verse 13, Mm. but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And it's that endurance that we see in Jacob's wrestling with God. Absolutely. And then as we were saying earlier, you come down to verse 21. He gives the warning of what to do at that time. And then he says in verse 21, there shall be a great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, not ever shall be. Now, these are the words of the Lord Jesus himself. No wonder you see the description of the 144,000. They're totally cut off from all earthly support, and that's going to do one of two things. You either compromise or you just take hold of God and will not let go. That's why I wonder it's called Jacob's trouble. That's He had nowhere to look. Mm. He had nowhere to look but to God and the God who had promised him all those years earlier when he anointed that pillar in Bethel. And he reminded God of that promise, and God was faithful as he had promised him. <laughs> 